Okay, so you've collected some family documents, maybe some heirlooms, photographs, little scraps of paper, and some notes, and even your father's medals from the war. Now what do you do with them? How do you organize all this stuff so that you can find it later? In this video, I'll show you a great way to stay organized so that you can stay focused, find it faster, and keep moving forward with your family research. Hi, I'm Connie Knox, a lifelong genealogist, and I'm here to help you go further, faster with your family history. Let's get started. Stay organized for you and your family members. Later, when you go to retrace your steps, keeping your family files and notes organized can be a huge time saver. Keep your family notes, photographs, and documents, all of these by surname, either by physical notebooks or in folders. In these files, you'll want to keep saved, scanned documents, photos, research notes, and any and all evidence that you can piece together an individual's life story. I keep an electronic top-level surname folder such as DOE, all in caps, and then within the file, individual folders. For example, within the DOE folder, you'll have another uh, folder or notebook with a person's name. So for example, it might be DOE on the folder or notebook, and I might have a list of folders underneath that that say DOE, Ellen, DOE, John James, DOE, Mary. I name all of my files with the same nomenclature. If you have a line of men with the same name, use a birth date or a death date to differentiate between the two. For example, if you have John James Doe, born in 1867, and John James Jr., born in 1889, use a B with the year of the event so that you can differentiate the two in their folders. This will allow you to find your family immediately and is a structure for future generations that they can follow easily. I'll also create a folder for family groups by surname. To file things like family group photos and family history manuscripts I've collected. I'll also create a folder sometimes for married couples. By naming the couple within the file folder, you can also give clues within the file folder for a maiden name. By naming the married couple, John James Doe and Jane Marrow, this way, it's a clue to also look in the Marrow surname file folder for her details too. For couples such as husband and wife, I'll often document them together for things like marriage certificates. This way, when you sort alphabetically, the files will group together. You should note a woman's maiden name, if known, whenever you can. Keeping files scanned as documents, grouped and named with the same way, will save you time during your research phase, as all of your documents can be accessed quickly and easily as you need them. Make sure you have a backup of your files. I use a cloud service that constantly backs up my files. In the days before computers, I mailed copies to my sisters as backups. This way, if my house burned down, heaven forbid, all of the years of research wasn't lost. Today. My computer constantly backs up even while I sleep, so I never lose anything. I also use Ancestry coupled with a family tree maker, which also gives me an additional backup of my data. Physical family artifacts are scanned or photographed and are logged with its resource and filed in surname notebooks, if possible in archival sleeves. These plastic sleeves can be found at any office supply store. For family heirlooms that don't fit in a notebook, those items can be such as Bibles and war memorabilia. They have archival boxes to protect those items. You can find archival boxes just by Googling archival materials or archival boxes and you'll find plenty of resources for those. This is the method that works well for me. You may have another method that works well for you and if so, please tell us about it. We'd love to hear about it in the comment sections. However, whatever method you use, make sure that a stranger can navigate your records. Make sure that they can navigate them easily long after you're gone. While this information may not be the fun part of research, it's the nuts and bolts that will hold your research train running smoothly down the tracks. Comments are welcome below. If this was helpful, please let us know. 
Do you have a system that you like? Tell us about it in the comments sections, and I'm also curious if you could fill out the poll for me, I'd appreciate it. If you'd like to stay up to date on the latest, please subscribe to the YouTube channel by using the subscribe button and or hit the bell so that you'll get notified next time the videos come out. Until next time, we'll see you climbing the family tree. For our archi for archival materials, they just Google it.